Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. We're doing the recap for today. It's November 5th, uh, Friday here. And um, today started off great. And I kind of screwed it up. So let's go ahead and review it. Show you where I'm at, show you how the week went and uh, everything else. So for today, I felt like it was a pretty slow day in the small cap world in the market. Um, and I felt like, yeah, there was just not a lot to trade now. However, I did pull off a really solid trade at first. Let me show you my performance for today. Look at this. First trade of the day, 82 bucks. Solid. Nice trade. Um, and my first three trades of the day were um, going short. So second trade here, I got up to 535 bucks. And then on the third one, brought it up to 569 So those three trades initially were freaking awesome um let me go to this the second one uh well i'll go well we'll do the first one otrx so otrx here um i started off i got into the market today a little bit later i'm not super late about nine thirty, like an hour after the market opened roughly and uh <clears throat> i saw this one moving up this is the only one that was really kind of moving and it was moving up and not looking like it had um extreme strength i would say it, it did show strength but not really you know exploding through crazy levels so uh, i looked at this and thought it might be a great short so i did hop in i think as it was crossing vwap here and just took a nice ride down let's look at the actual Let's look at that first trade. Okay. Um, got filled. Short, let's see, 11, 11.07. Okay, uh, correction. It was actually right in here. So I see it um, curling up and thinking that it didn't really have the strength that it was looking like it was at. So I got in at 12. Um, Let's see, it was 11.07 time frame here. Oh, actually, yeah, so I see it starting to break down. I didn't get in for that trade, but see it, see it start breaking down. And anyways, hopped in. Um, first trade was hopping in at 12.21, getting in, getting out at 12.05. Uh, 12 so I actually sat in this for a few minutes. Um, but a good trade there. And then that next one, let me see here. Okay, the next one was on ENDP. So anyways, first off that OTRX, I think that kind of set the intention for today as far as kind of the movements and momentum that we're having. It was just, we had a little bit of strength, but it just wasn't. Uh, really followed through and on E and DP. Let's see the first trade I had on this one uh, Was that 1155 so let's zoom in had a nice huge run up and Yeah, I was looking at it right in here Let me pull this up Yeah, so as I see this thing, you know, it had a nice run up, but it wasn't huge candles It was just slowly chipping away and going up so i wasn't really looking at going long unless we saw faster momentum to the upside and we didn't we just it just continued up and i realized it was going to possibly get overextended and come down and so once i saw this breakdown i hopped in and i got in at 11:55 so just after that huge candle just with that confirmation that hey this thing is coming down now Pretty hard, pretty hard, pretty fast. That's a huge candle there. Hopped in at 662. And then added again at 663. And then closed out at uh, 640. So what was that, 1204? Yeah, so I was hopping in here on this nice this pop-up started adding in here and i just kind of nailed it on this you know we had here's the big sell-off we've got that correction that with that with that quick little pop-up 
I add in here for the two shorts, and it was a thousand shares each, so two thousand total at six sixty three. And I'm waiting for it, waiting for it. And then I had an order to cover at 640 down here. Perfect, it just nailed it. So that was my huge win, winning trade of the day, just nailing that short. So um, that's what I thought is pretty neat. You know, when the market is not maybe favorable uh, to the long side on a lot of these small caps, that's what's cool is you can switch and go short. Um, the only problem is sometimes you have to, you know, um, there's borrow fees or rates um, that are additional. So that's the disadvantage. And sometimes it is hard to get shorts. There were a couple different times that I had tried to go short on a few stocks and, uh, you know, brokerage couldn't locate any, so I couldn't go short. But anyways, that was my big winner today on ENDP up 535 bucks in my second trade. And I should just, hindsight, just uh, should have walked away. And anyways, I decided, hey, let me see if there's opportunity still in this. And man, ALZN, this one I moved over to next just to try to get a few long trades on. And just really, as you can see, just chopped around this, never really broke this area here. It did for us for a second, 325, went all the way up to 338 and then sold off. So this was just kind of that chop and I, I went back and forth and back and forth, didn't really get anywhere, just lost a little bit of money, staying in the 500 range. And then here was where my big mistake was, I, I moved over to LTRY, which was just not a good stock, LTRY. And um, my problem here was I was seeing this thing move up pretty quickly, and I wanted to hop into it, but there wasn't much volume earlier in the day. Let me see if I can find it. Um, first trade on it, let's see. Buying in at 1707, so kind of way too extended there. And then uh, I had to sell that at six, 1669 market sell. I lost a good chunk there and then my next round I try I think I tried to go long again at 16 what was it 1671 and uh crapped out and I ended up let's see selling out at 1615 so a huge loss there and I took you know a lot of my profits for today and just ripped them all the way down so yeah, that second trade took me all the way down to 98 bucks on the day. Now I'm in that mode to try to rebuild back and dig out. And I had a few trades that got me back in a better position with MRIN. I got up to 154, then 284, then 310, then 354, and then boom, I hit a couple bad trades on MRIN uh, that brought me down. And uh, anyways, at the moment, at the moment, I still have some positions, but um, I'm currently sitting at plus 168 on the end of the day. And um, let's go over to MR. I in this one here, um, I have had a few trades to the long side. We had this nice rip up out of nowhere. Here's the uh, yearly chart over here on the side. Looking at this chart, just thinking, okay, boom, we had a former runner, had a huge run in the past. And then it went on a second run again a um, couple months later, but just not any strength to really even go close to what it did before. And so today was another pop-up, and I figured this thing was just going to pop up and sell off. And so I was traded it to the long side here, which was good, and then trying to short it kind of on the back side, but I got in a little too low and I'm still in a position right now with this, I'm still holding this. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out where I should try to get out here. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I started shorting, I have a short position right in this zone here. After hours, it moved up, which was kind of impressive. And um, since then, it's kind of consolidated. So 
you know, if you're long on this, there is the sense of, hey, we've got this consolidation. Looks like we've got kind of this resistance of 822. If we can break past that, it might go higher for another leg. And I think if we start breaking this area here at 772, it's just going to go to the downside and sell off. But, uh, you know, don't know how true either of it is. But I'm sitting in a short position right now, and I'm kind of underwater right now on it, down 400 bucks on it. So I'm going to see where it kind of settles out at, and, um, you know, I might have to, to cover later in here if it wants to rip up but if it looks like it's breaking down i'm gonna hold it and um cover a little bit later so that's where i'm sitting on that and i am still i still do have a uh short position that i'm a little bit i've been holding holding a little bit longer on this one this one i traded earlier today kind of chopped around and because of this whole chop i did start i had one or two trades that were short uh, that were good short trades and then I tried to add back in a little bit later anticipating maybe a further sell-off but it's kind of held quite well here and now we've got resistance at you know I call it three three or three so if we break past that you know potential to the long side but I'm just waiting right now to see if we can get a further breakdown but um, currently you know it looks like we've got higher lows um, so who knows? But um, that's kind of what I'm looking at right now and um, waiting on those. So the day hasn't ended for me, uh, but I just wanted to get this recap out there uh, for you guys. So that's it for today. Let me know how you did. Uh, let me show you the calendar real quick before we wrap up. Go to that. Uh, incredible week here. Monday, 1274. Tuesday, 46. Wednesday, awesome, 2101. Thursday, yesterday, which was 913. So great numbers there. Uh, today, don't know how it's going to be. You know, even if I did take a $1,000 loser here for today, still be up uh, roughly 3300 which is still a good week. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But uh, good week so far. I want to try to put on, you know, Something maybe similar to next week. But the market could shift. Who knows? I, I don't know if that's going to be obtainable for next week. We'll see. I'm going to try my best. Try to manage risk. Um, but that's where I'm, I'm sitting as of now. And I hope you guys had a freaking awesome trading week. Let me know how you did this week in the comments. If you're green, if you're red. I know how it feels. I've been there. Uh, you got to keep at it and you got to write down what you did wrong and really focus on that and improve. So take care. I hope you guys have an excellent weekend and we'll see you on Monday.